I'm Peter Block here in Orlando at the AHA annual meeting for On the Scene, and with me is Paul Welton. The sprint trial is, you know, arguably the most important trial that's come out of the American Heart Association meetings, Paul. So this is a heart, uh, it's not heart failure, forgive me, this is a hypertension trial. And the hypertension business systolic hypertension reduction now may in, in fact have some important changes coming. Tell me about the trial first. Big trial, over 9,000 participants looking at the effect of going to standard treatment, less than 140 systolic, versus more intensive treatment, less than 120 systolic. Now, we have heard uh, over the last years that maybe it's better to have a higher systolic pressure, that the lower systolic pressure was not the Accord trial, for example, not so good for you and such. Now, all of a sudden, we're seeing data, which I'm about to ask you about, which indicates maybe that was not so right. So tell me what you found. Epidemiology would suggest the opposite. Accord didn't answer the question. We found lower seemed to be better. We reduced our cardiovascular events, the main outcome, by 25%, all-cause mortality by 27%. We saw some signals for concern on the other side of the ledger, uncertain what they mean at this point, but big improvements on the positive side. So improvements in mortality? Yes, big, 27%, and across the board, over 75 seem to do well. The people who came in with kidney disease seem to do well. African Americans did well. Everybody seemed to get that benefit. But you know, uh, we've always talked about low blood pressure producing bad outcomes stroke, hypotensive episodes, syncope, etc. You did not see that? Not overall. We did see some hospitalizations due to syncope, hypotension, didn't see injurious falls with it. So, yeah, you have to be careful, obviously, in practice, but overall, I'd say the positive side of the ledger looks very strong. So there's still no free lunch on the downside of this, but let me then ask you the clinician's question. Uh, since I take care of patients, as do many people out there, what's the clinical take-home message here? We probably are going to see some changes in the guidelines. Well, I think certainly in the high-risk patients, it looks like lower is better. and. Then we're going to be in a bit of a quandary in some other areas. Uh, I am chairing the guidelines. We start with meetings tomorrow night. We're going to be trying to understand Sprint. I, I think it'll probably have an important impact on the guidelines, but that will require a little bit of time. So there you go, a trial now, probably the most interesting and important trial here at the heart meetings, indicating that now lower is better than higher and a change once again in our thinking about hypertension. Thank you, Paul. My pleasure. Nice to be with you.